Yetzirah is coming all of the time to destroy our self-image, our faith in ourselves. He's telling you you're not worthy. God will not going to help a person like you. Here you lied. Here you were not learning. Here you were not praying. Here you were sinning. You don't remember what you done last Shabbat. You don't remember last month what you were doing. You don't remember this morning how you woke up. How do you... People, I'm telling them you need to pray for your salvation. Today I said to a person, you need to do one hour prayer on your situation, financial situation. He's telling me, no, I'm not able to. I'm too ashamed. I told him, why? He said, you know how many spiritual problems I have that I'm not praying for them, so now I'm going to go to Hashem and going to pray on my Parnassah? I told him, if Hashem would want to bring you to pray on spirituality, He would lead, lead you, He can lead you in that path. He would bring you to that path. If now Hashem is pushing you on your financials, so why won't you understand? Just listen, that's what Hashem wants you to pray on. No, he, Yetzirah is telling him why. Why Yetzirah is working so hard on the person? That he will not going to pray at all. No, on spiritual things I'm not able to pray. So now what? I'm going to pray on my Parnassah. Nah, so I'm not going to pray. And that's it. And Yetzirah just shut the door and that's it. And he's locked and he doesn't have no hope. And he doesn't have no, no future. And Hashem will not going to help him. Here he's not even praying. He's not even doing the minimum of the Ishtadlut. Oh, so go and pray. No, but I'm, why? Go pray. Go say to Hashem, listen, Hashem, I'm sorry that I'm not doing, not fulfilling my real obligations to pray on spirituality, but today I'm in a stressful situation. i never been in a situation like that ever before. Please help me. Please save me. What's the problem? So do tshuva on your lackings and then go and ask your requests. If you're not going to ask for Hashem, from who are you going to ask? For sure you need to, go to ask for Hashem Midbarach. If you believe that Hashem Midbarach loves you, if you believe that Hashem Midbarach cares about you, He's got an endless love, unconditional love, to each and every one of His children. So what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Rav Shalom Arush once said that a person, that he, he, he's walking, the, the prince, the son of the king, he's walking and his pants and his suit and everything is torn and his, his shoes are opened and he's all filthy and not clean and he's walking like a beggar and people are looking at him and tells him hey you're the prince you're the son of the king why are you dressed like that you can ask your father he will give you everything you need he said i don't have time i don't have time he's meshuga he's crazy he is just literally crazy you don't have time you have all of the options in the world you have all of the opportunities and for us because that god is hiding himself so we just <laughs> follow those voices that are telling us that he is not available, that he is not here, that he will not going to turn to us. But all of the verses are contradicting that shita, that method. And all of the righteous people are supporting us and cheering us up that we're going to believe in ourselves and going to go and ask for Hashem Midbarach. And we saw already miracles even in our own lives that Hashem Midbarach was there. And we were not worthy when he was there also. So what's the problem that he's going to help again? That's exactly what that he wants to do. It's exactly what the Takadosh Baruch Hu wants to do, to reveal his greatness, his honor in the world. That everyone is going to have that opportunity, that belief in themselves to know, hey, I can go and talk to God. There's no problem with that. Just the power of imagination wants you to be afraid, wants you to be scared. Want you not to count on yourself, to feel not worthy. That's not humility. Moshe was the most humble person in the world, and he went and spoke to Hashem Bach on every topic, on every issue, in every situation of his life. Why? Because he knew that without Hashem Barach, he doesn't have no, no, no chance to succeed. That's real humility. Real humility is not to go down to sadness. No, look at me. I'm a sinner. I'm worthless. I'm I'm hopeless, look at me, how many times I ruined, how many times I spoiled, I messed up so many times. That's not humility, that's stupidity. That's stupidity. If God created you, if God gives you life, if God just keep on helping you and providing you amazing things in your life, starting from your shoes and socks and pants and belt, and shirt, and a jacket, and a mobile. 
and a car, and a house, an apartment, a place to live, and a cup, and a faucet, and water, and soda, and meat, and, 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 and cheese, and, and, and pasta, and cream, and, and, and whatever you need, and ice cream if, you, if, you, if you're weak, and chocolate bars everywhere. You eat uh, uh, dairy right here, and it's, it's okay, you can eat dairy. Or you dairy, you eat or you dairy. Problem. You know, you own Chalav Israel. Also Chalav Israel you can find. Also Chalav Israel you can find. 